Yeah, hello friends, my name is Dr. Sanjit Kumar. Today we are going to start Rager Motis. This is a very important topic. Other name of Rager Motis, cadaveric rigidity, stiffening of body, death stiffening, cadaveric stiffening. After death, the muscles of the body pass into the three stages. First, primary relaxation, this is called primary flaccidity, then Rager Motis, then secondary relaxation. Primary relaxation or primary flexibility soon after death, all muscles of the body, both voluntary or non-voluntary, begins to relax, resulting in eyelid drops down, falls of lower jaw, joints become flexible, limbs become soft and flabby, body flattens over area which are in contact with the surface on which it rests. This is called contact flattening. During this stage, death is only somatic no cellular death. This stage lasts for 3 to 6 hours in the temperate climate and 1 to 2 hours in the tropical climate. Muscles are relaxed as long as ATP content remains sufficiently high to permit the splitting of actin myosin cross bridge. Muscular irritability and the response to mechanical electrical stimuli persist. People react to atropine but not to light. Then Rager Mortis. This is very important, Rager Motis. It is a state of stiffening of muscles, sometimes with a slight shortening of muscle fiber. Slight shortening of muscle fiber. This is the stiffening of body. Features of Rager Motis. It follows immediately after the muscles lose the power of contractility. It first appears in involuntary muscles like heart, then voluntary muscle. It appears in heart within an hour. After death, the, the left chamber of heart is affected more than the right chamber in the voluntary muscles, so the prosumo distal progression. First in eyelid muscles within 2 hours, back of neck and lower jaw 3 hours, front of neck, face, chest, upper limb 6 hours, abdomen, lower limb 9 hours, lastly the small muscles of finger and toes 12 hours. When the rigor mort is set in early, it passes off quickly and vice versa. First site is myocardium, but first site externally is eyelid. Cellular death occurs. Rigor mort is a physiochemical changes that occurs in muscle. There are three metabolic system that are responsible for maintaining the continuous supply of ATP in the muscles. Phosphogen system, glycogen lactic acid system and aerobic system. ATP is responsible for elasticity and plasticity of the muscles. If the force is applied when the rigor mortis is fully developed, a stiffness is broken up permanently and the rigid muscles may show the postmortem rupture. Frequent handling of the body break the rigor mortis in certain places resulting in the patchy distribution of rigor mortis. When the rigor mortis is fully developed, the entire body is stiff, muscles shorten and hard and opaque. Rigor mortis of erector pili muscle may cause good flesh appearance of the skin with elevation of cutaneous hair called the cutis anserina or good skin. Rigor in the dotos muscle of a scrotum can compress the testis and epidermis leading to the postmortem extrusion of semen from erythromatous. Rarely, if the uterus is in labor at the time of death, the rigor mortis causes the uterus to contract and expel the fetus. It is not dependent on the nerve supply as it also develops in the parallel limb. It can develop even after removal of brain and decapitation of head. Then muscle status after death, first relaxed muscle, then stiff, then relaxed. The first relaxation is called primary flaccidity and stiffness is called Rigor mortis and relax is called secondary relaxation. The primary facility has 100% ATP and the rigor mortis at the time of onset it has 85% ATP, uh, ATP is 15% in the body, rigor mortis is maximum and the secondary relaxation is decomposition. Primary facility active myosin is separated and the rigor mortis active myosin complex formation and the secondary relaxation lysis of protein. Then mechanism of development, after death 
there is gradual fall of concentration of ATP as it cannot be desynthesized. This leads to the fusion of actin myosin filament resulting in the state of inelasticity and the rigidity of muscles. Rigor mortis is inversely related to ATP available in the muscles. This is the relaxed stage and the contracted state and in the muscles in the rigor. Then testing of rigor mortis trying to lift the eyelid, depressing the jaw, gently bending the neck, gently bending the various joint, note the degree and distribution. Demonstration of rigor mortis in upper eyelid, then demonstration of rigor mortis on chin, demonstration in upper limb, then demonstration in the lower limb. Then time of onset. In temperate climate, average onset is 3 to 6 hours. 3 to 6 hours after death. In the tropical climate, on average onset is 1 to 2 hours after death. In India, it begins in 1 to 2 hours after death, takes further 1 to 2 hours to develop and gets well established in the entire body in 6 hours in summer. Then Sapero rule, rigor mortis comes simultaneously in all muscles of the body. All a small group of muscles rigid early, all large group of muscles rigid late. First detected in a small group of muscles, then larger group. Next and rule, rigor mortis occurs sequentially. First develop in eyelid, then lower jaw, then facial muscle, then neck, then thorax, then upper limb, then abdomen, then lower limb then finger and toes. This is very important. Nistan rule. According to Reddy, the sequence is eyelid, first in eyelid, then neck, then lower jaw, then face, then chest, then upper limb, then abdomen, then lower limb, then finger and toes. Order of disappearance follows order of appearance. In individual limbs, it progress from above downward. Such a sequence is not constant, not symmetrical, or not a regular. March of rigor or rule of 12. First phase appearance for 12 hours, second phase persistence for 12 hours, third phase disappearance for 12 hours. Duration in India, duration of rigor mortis is 24 to 48 hours in winter and 18 to 36 hours in the summer. Factors affecting development of rigor mortis first age, less than 7 months of intrauterine life fetus, rigor mortis absent because muscles development is absent, but rigor mortis seen in a stillborn infant at full term, in healthy adult development is slow, well marked and lasts longer, but in children and old person it is feeble and rapid. Then muscle bulk Thin muscle appears early, disappear early. Thick muscle appear late, disappear late. Nature of death like cholera, tuberculosis, typhoid, cancer. In this condition, rigor mortis appear early and disappear early. Muscle activity, muscle is active before death, rigor mortis appear early due to reduction of ATP seen in violent death like firearm death and electrocution. Poisoning, in arsenic poisoning, onset is delayed and last longer due to delayed in putrefaction. Next, vomica poisoning appearance is early and last longer. Asphyxial death appearance and disappearance delayed. In droning, rigor mortis appear early due to muscular exhaustion but last longer due to coldness of water. Season in summer appearance and disappearance is early. Winter appearance and disappearance is delayed. Rigor mortis is absent in septicemic condition. Because of the variability of the factors which influence the development of rigor mortis, it is not possible, not possible to draw any general rule for the rate of its onset, duration and disappearance. Then conditions simulating rigor mortis. First, heat stiffening. This is a hardening and a stiffening of muscles due to exposure to intense heat above 65 degrees centigrade. 
this is due to denaturation and coagulation of muscle protein and persist until putrefaction set in protein denaturation and coagulation of muscle protein the muscles are contracted desiccated even carbonized on the surface the body assumes pugilistic attitude or boxer attitude with arms and lower limb flexed hands clenched due to shortening of muscle fiber due to heat seen in burning sudden immersion in the boiling fluid body burned soon after death high voltage electric shock more than 65 degree heat causes muscle protein coagulation and stiffening this is the boxer position pugilistic attitude then cold stiffening it is seen as the stiffening of muscles in the body due to solidification of its fat if it is exposed to freezing temperature Five, minus five degrees centigrade or above. On forcibly flexing the joint, the frozen synovial fluid shows the crackling of ice. On moving the body to a warm surrounding, the hardening disappear rapidly and normal rigor mortis develop. It can occur in India in the high region of the Himalayas, North Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, and Kashmir. Frozen body. body fluid becomes ice crystal causes stiffening then third is gas stiffening seen in decomposition decomposition causes the gas accumulation then causes stiffening of body then fourth is the cadaveric spasm in medical importance of rigor mortis sign of death to estimate the time since death indicate the position of body at the time of death anti mortem rigor mortis in one case it develop in the live patient after cardiac surgery due to very low cardiac output use of unusually high dose of inotropic and vasopressor agent and sepsis anti mortem rigor mortis in heart develop after open heart surgery it is an ischemia related irreversible contraction of heart this is called stone heart then secondary relaxation features with the disappearance of rigor mortis muscles become soft and flaccid due to development of putrefaction or excessive acid production during rigor mortis muscles do not respond to mechanical or electrical stimulus then important question related to post mortem hypostasis post mortem staining may be mistaken for bruise abrasion insect bite or the above bruise dark brown post mortem staining is seen in phosphorus poisoning nitrite poisoning opium poisoning cyanide poisoning to so phosphorus poisoning then post mortem staining may be delayed in acute hemorrhage anemic patient saline infusion before death all the above from generally post mortem becomes fixed in 6 to 12 hour in case of hanging post mortem staining may be seen in all except lower portion of breast lower portion of hand and leg both sole back of trunk back of trunk mein nahi dikhta hai regarding post mortem staining which of the following is not true cause of death may be known it indicates onset of cellular death false post mortem staining of heart may mimic myocardial infarction it indicates posture of death at the time of death medical importance of post mortem staining includes all except cause of death may be known position of body may be known it helps in estimation of time since death color of hypostasis may indicate manner of death to galat hai the following are true about internal post mortem staining except irregular and occurs on dependent part inflammatory exudates may be present mucous membrane appears dull A stomach and intestine may stretched so alternate stand and unstand area to so inflammatory exudate may be seen this is false important question related to rigor mortis rigor mortis develop after primary flaccidity primary rigidity secondary flaccidity secondary rigidity the early sign of onset of molecular death is appearance of rigor mortis appearance of labor mortis cooling of body decomposition the rigor mortis first appear in cardiac muscle eyelid a small joint or lower jaw what is true regarding rigor mortis contraction of muscle fiber coagulation of muscle fiber contraction and shortening of muscle fiber all of the above in winter season rigor mortis may last for 12 to 24 hour 36 to 72 hour 24 to 48 hour none of the above regarding rigor mortis which is not true when it set in early it 
गोज ऑफ अर्ली रैगन मोटिस नॉट डेवलप इन रनिंग वाटर ड्रोनिंग रैगन मोटिस विल अपियर अर्ली इन हैंगिंग इट विल डेवलप इन पार्लाइलिम रिगार्डिंग द रैगन मोटिस ऑल आर द स्टेटमेंट आर ट्रू एक्सेप्ट इट मे डेवलप इन द फिटस बिफोर डिलीवरी इट मे डेवलप इन मसल्स डेट हैव अंडर गो हिट स्टिफनिंग इट इंडिकेट्स पोजिशन एंड एटीच्यूड ऑफ द बॉडी ऑल ओवर द ट्रू कोल्ड स्टेपनिंग इज ड्यू टू कॉगुलेशन ऑफ बॉडी प्रोटीन्स एंड बॉडी फैट्स सॉलिडिफिकेशन ऑफ बॉडी फैट्स टिश्यू एंड फ्लूड फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एक्टोनोमायोसिन कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑल ओवर दब प्यूजलिस्टिक एटीच्यूड मे बी सीन इन विच ऑफ द फ्लोइंग स्टेपनिंग कोल्ड स्टेपनिंग हिट स्टेपनिंग पोस्टमार्टम स्टेनिंग देन ऑल ओवर दब फ्रिक्वेंटली रैगर मोटिस डज नॉट डेवलप इफ द पर्सन इज डाइंग फ्रॉम सेप्टिसमिया एयर एम्बोलिजम एपिलिप्सी बैक्टेरियल मेनजाइटिस ये दस क्वेश्चन का आंसर कमेंट में करना है नेक्स्ट टाइम वीडियो बनाएंगे इसका आंसर बताएंगे दिस इज ऑल अबाउट रैगर मोटिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ओके थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग